let's just talk about coming to Utah, that flight. I'm from Michigan, so, you know, when I touched down, it was different. You know what I'm saying? What was it like for you? It was different as well. Um, I'm from, from the south, Arkansas, and then just moved from Texas and then Tampa. I'm um, different life, different weather, different scene. Like, this looks, this is amazing view. Like, how many, how many of us can look outside of our weight room and outside our facility and just see this beautiful view? So that was different. Um, but the people here, that's the biggest standout to me, the people. Like, everybody here is so welcoming, everybody's so nice. Um, that's that's what, I, what I like to tell anybody. It's a special place. Do you know what to expect? Utah in general, because you know, on our side of the country, we don't, we don't know nothing about Utah, but we end up here. I came here for a career. You came here for a career move. You know, what was that mental preparation for? Honestly, for me, um, I really didn't know exactly what I was getting into, but when I came on my visit, my first impression was that everybody's so nice, and it's a family atmosphere. If you're a part of BYU, you're part of this family. And so it was like, for me, that's what it's been since I got here. So for me, um, I didn't really, I couldn't say I knew exactly what I was getting, um, but I say, the more and more time I spent here, it's been everything and more. Starting from Baylor to USF to here, you know, what were some of the lessons that you took from those previous places that you carried here to BYU? Um, to never get caught up in the big moments. Uh, never get too high, never get too low. I always try to stay steady and stay on this constant track um, that you're on. And, um, just just kind of take everything one day at a time, one play at a time. Um, try to find something to get better at. Like um, when I first got to college, we always preach the process and 1%. Just, if we can all get 1% better each day, think about how that adds up over the year. Um, just finding something to get better and having that grow as a, and learner's mindset. Like you want to grow and learn from everybody that you come in contact with and everybody that's around because everybody comes into your life and everything happens for a reason. For the BYU fans, what are some of the strengths that you have right now that you can utilize and then some of the things that you know they can help you build on? Um, I think here getting the offense, learning from um, Jake, learning from Ryder, Tracing, K, Cole, learning from everybody in that room, um, and just learning from the guys that are around, um, just improving my game in the past game, the run game. I think um, I can do a little bit of it all. So it's like just finding ways to to touch on each part of my game and, and accomplish exactly what we want to accomplish within each play. What is your mentor and emotional state right now? You know, like far away from home, you know, still in your college journey. Um, for me, um, just I start with my mama. My mama made sure she instilled good habits and to make sure that we worked hard at whatever we were doing. So it's like natural for me to want to spend extra time working on something in my game, want to spend extra time watching film. So it's like that's just natural. Like everybody look at it as extra work. Nah, that's just my daily routine. Um, so for me, just not getting caught up in I know something well enough. Never ever having that mindset. Like always finding ways to learn. The more you watch them, the more you learn from it. The more reps you get, the more you learn from it. So for me, it's just finding ways to grow. What is that transfer portal process like, especially now with all the NIL and all that stuff? And it's starting to get away from football just a little bit. But at the same time, I respect the student athlete standpoint because I once once won. And it's hard, you know, like it's hard, you know, getting up at 7 a.m. to do conditioning and then you got to go to study hall and then you got to go to class and all this other stuff. For you, you know, how do you stay grounded? Obviously, you said your mother, but for you, how do you continue to do that? Um, for me, um, I think it's just coming from small town. Like if you look at everything as an opportunity, then you never get caught up in ah, I got to do this. If you just make sure everything is an opportunity for you to get better and everything that you do applies to some aspect of life, you look at it that way, you never get caught up into, dang, oh, I got to do this. Of course, everybody had a moment where they don't want to do something, but you can just flip your mindset to not, to not think like, dang, I got to go do this and be like, okay, I get to do this because there's so many kids in the country that wish they were in my position right now. So it's like for me not to ever, ever get complacent and forget that. How do you feel about BYU going to the Big 12? This is their second year, but you prepping for big, the Big 12, obviously it's not necessarily new territory for you, but you know, mentally, where are you preparing yourself and the team in spring ball currently? Um, I think just for myself and everybody that's around, we gotta understand that we don't win, we win games right now. Like the importance is right now. Like just be where your feet are and find ways to grow and get better right now. Um, because the things that we just, like when you get into the season, the things that you're going to face, like what you've been through in the off season is what's going to help get you through it, the way you train, the way you built that relationship with, the, with those guys because you guys are going to take the field together. So it's like have each other's back all off season. When you get into those adverse moments during the season, you've been there before. You've been there together. You know uh, I can depend on this guy. Obviously you knew the weapons coming in, Chase, Cody, Keanu going to tight end, just the whole – receiving core and the running backs because you need a running game. <laughs> you know, 
how do you feel about your offense so far? I think the offense is loaded. Uh, the tight end room, the wide receiver room, the old line room, the running back room, the quarterback room. Like we just got it. Like we can put it all together and figure it out. I think we can do something very special. I'm confident in a lot of the guys that's around me. Like the guys show up daily and day, day in and day out. That's all you can ask for guys to show up. I always want to get better.